Hello everyone, welcome to the course data analysis with Python 0 to Pandas. This is a six weeks interactive course where you will come to know about data analysis with Python uh, and you will come to know about the ecosystem of libraries covered in data analysis and to get all the course content details and videos everything you can go to the website 0 pandas.com but let's proceed the next part so this is an introduction and overview of the course 0 pandas and the agenda of this session is introduction to data analysis then we will cut to know about the curriculum overview and we'll take a brief overview of what we are going to cover then there is the course page walkthrough uh, where we will look at the course page how to navigate around the course page and there we'll see a couple of faqs and you'll get to know about more faqs in the course page and i'll do the course page walkthrough and finally a few tips to succeed the program and get the certificate uh, at the end of the course so you can post your questions in the chat and i'll take a break in between uh, when I'll answer your question or I'll answer all the questions in the chat. But let's start. So about Jovian, uh, the Jovian started in 2019 as a data science and ML community. And we soon realized that there is a lot of resources required for this community. So we created five online courses and one bootcamp. And there are about two Currently, there are about 250,000 plus learners from 180 plus different countries. And there are more than 5 million videos views on YouTube on the Jovian YouTube channel. So here is a quick glance at the instructor team. We have Akash and Siddhant as the founder of Jovian. And Akash is our lead instructor and Siddhant is a lead mentor. Samanvita is an instructor and Himani as the assist assistant instructor is Jovian and I am Biraj. I will be the assistant instructor and the supervisor of the course Zero to Pandas for the next six weeks. I will be also your point of contact during the next six weeks of the course. So first is introduction to data analysis. Let's look at why do we need data analysis. So you or might already know what is data analysis you already have you have already come here you have already seen what is data analysis so why do we need data analysis that's what we're going to understand here so first thing is to understand the story behind the data so the data that we see around that we see in every day has a story they are just numbers initially but when we look at them very carefully it has a story behind it so our goal as a data analyst will be to understand the story that the data is trying to depict using different visualizations and graphs. Next is to solve problems using data driven approach. So we can use the data driven approach to solve problems. For example, uh, in a traffic signal, we can use, we can collect the data uh, of different traffics of different cars and we can manage the traffic signal according to date according to the data we get okay and next is to understand errors in data and collect more data so we can understand if we have any errors in the data if we have any error in the data collection process we can understand that by doing data analysis and we can also collect more data in the same process then uh, to improve the performance and efficiency of the process so we can use data analysis to improve uh, the performance and efficiency of something we are doing and to reduce cost and uh, optimize the speed of the process. And there are uh, many more uh, different uh, use cases of data analysis, which uh, maybe you can tell me, which maybe now you can post that use case on the chat and you will find a lot more use cases of data analysis. Okay, so how to register for this course? So to register for the course, you can open 0to-pandas.com and I will show the process in the uh, while sharing my screen. So let's open 0to-pandas.com. We can then first sign in to the platform using Google or any other method. I will use my email address and you can you might already be registered in the course or you can also enroll in the course by uh, 
Suppose you are registered in the self-paced course and you want to register in the November 2022 cohort, that is the current cohort, you have to enroll in the course and then enroll for and then click on enroll for free button. This button will already appear if you are not registered for the course. But if you are registered already and registered in the self-paced cohort, you can just unenroll yourself and enroll for the course. And to go to the course, you can just open 02pandas.com. Yep, this will take you to the course homepage. So that is the process of registering for the course. And uh, what are the prerequisites of the course? There are actually no prerequisites for the course. Uh, anyone from tech background or non-tech background can do the course and learn about data analysis. Uh, so basically, if you are from a tech background, you might have some advantage in understanding some concepts, but ultimately we have designed the course in a way that everyone from any background can understand the course very easily. There's only one thing, you will need a proper internet connection and a laptop or a desktop device to visit the course and complete the course. Okay, there is a bonus and this will announce more about this in our Slack community and you will find the Slack community and everything in the link and also in the description of the YouTube video. So top three performers of the course during the next six weeks will be get, will get a chance to win Jovian swag packs. Okay, and more details around this will share uh, later uh, in the Slack community. So now let's look at the curriculum we are going to cover in the next six weeks. The first is we are going to cover introduction to programming with Python and this is the lesson one. So here we will see the first steps with Python and Jupyter Notebook. We'll learn uh, how to use Jupyter Notebook and Python. Then we will see arithmetic, conditional and logical operators in Python and there are different operators in Python. We'll take a quick tour of variables and common data types in Python. The second lesson is next steps with Python. This is basically an, uh, a continuation of the first lesson. And we will learn a bit more advanced thing from the first lesson. We'll learn branching with if, elif and else. Uh, then we'll learn iterations with while loops and for loops. We'll see how to write reusable codes using functions. And we'll see scope of variables and exceptions in the next lesson two of the course. The lesson three will learn NumPy, which is a very essential library for data analysis. We'll see how to uh, convert Python list to NumPy arrays. We'll see working with multidimensional arrays. We'll see array operations. We'll uh, see array of different array operations like slicing and broadcasting. And we will learn about working with CSV and data CSV data files. The fourth lesson is analyzing tablet data with pandas. And here we will learn how to write, read and write uh, CSV data with pandas. We will see how to query, filter and sort data frames. That is the pandas uh, type of, pan uh, that is the pandas name. And we'll learn about what is data frame later in the course. Okay. And data frame is basically a table like structure. And we'll see how to query, filter and sort data. We'll see grouping and aggregation for data summarizations and we'll see how to merge different data together using pandas. The next step is visualization with matplotlib and seaborn and matplotlib or seaborn are one of the two of the most important libraries for data visualization with Python. Uh, so these libraries are used for basic visualizations uh, and plotting graphs. So first we'll learn about matplotlib and how to do basic visualization on that. Then we'll look at how to do advanced visualizations with Seaborn and we will see uh, some tips for customizing and styling your chart, which is very important to present your chart to the world. And uh, finally, we'll see how to plot images and grids of charts. Okay, the last lesson of the course is exploratory data analysis, a case study. And in this, we will go, we'll pick a real world data set where we will uh, do data loading and cleaning and pre-processing. And we will try to explore the data and find insights from the data uh, in this lecture. And we will do this all in a, a live lecture. So you will get an idea of how to do a data analysis project. Okay, 
other than the lessons there are three interactive assignments where we you will practice all the concepts you have learned in the course the first assignment is a python basic assignment uh, basic practice assignment where you will uh, practice your python skills after taking the first two lessons the second assignment is a numpy array operations assignment you will get to explore the numpy documentation and find few interesting libraries and you might share your work and you might find others creating some interesting assignments on the same uh, topic the third assignment is pandas practice where you will uh, do some pandas operations on a certain data set that we have shared so these are the assignments and this will be evaluated by us the final thing is a project an exploratory data analysis project which you will have to create for getting the certificate of the course and uh, so in this project you have to choose a topic you have to choose a topic from a real world data set from any uh, website and we'll talk about how to choose a topic in the course and then there is a video there is an extra additional video where you which you can watch to get some more idea about the project and finally we'll give you some feedback according to the feedback you might get a pass grade or a fail grade and then uh, according to that you can maybe pass the project or maybe you have if you have got a fail grade you'll get an opportunity to resubmit the project so that's the curriculum and the tools and skills covered is obviously the data analysis and visualization skill we are covering in this this course the tools we are going to learn is python pandas numpy matplotlib and cborn and you can look at some featured projects this is there are some featured projects made by some uh, par so course participants before and they are really good be beautiful projects i have gone through them uh, and there are many more there are just five examples there are many more featured projects but now let's look at the course page i will just head on to the uh, 02pandas.com okay so i'll just go to 02pandas.com and here the first thing will open is the course home page and you will see the your batch here the november 2022 batch and the lessons will show up here this is the first lesson which is already open and each of this lesson will open once every week okay so once you see the lesson you can just open one lesson which is open and here you will see the lecture for this lesson you can just watch the lecture uh, you can maybe increase the speed of the lecture if you want to see captions you can just sub, uh, turn on the subtitle button and this is the lecture notebook this is uh, the lecture notebook that is covered in this particular lecture okay there are a uh, few questions to solve for this lecture so you can just to practice your skills you can just solve these questions and finally there is a discussion page where you can ask your question if you have any doubt regarding this particular lecture you can ask that question in this discussion page okay so this is the these are all the three there are there can be multiple notebooks in a single lecture so these are all the three notebooks that are covered in this particular lecture and if you want to run this if you want to run the notebook you can just click on the run button and you can run on binder or collab so i'll just run this notebook on binder and you can practice the lesson uh, using running the by running the notebook so that's the lecture notebook okay and here is the lecture i'll go back and in a similar way you can go to the next le lesson you can uh, if when it's open you can just go to the next lesson watch the video practice the lecture notebook and then you can solve the assignments okay this is the assignment page and uh, i okay so i cannot show you the assignment page because it's not open but let me see if i can find the assignment page okay so here is the assignment page if we open the assignment one this is how the if we open this assignment one when it is open this is how the assignment will look like and there is a deadline for each assignment you can see the deadline here the deadline is december 6th uh, for this particular assignment 
and deadline will be one week after the assignment opens and this uh, assignment you can just run the notebook you can run a notebook on the assignment you can solve some questions uh, so let the, let the notebook run and i'll just go through the assignment so this is the assignment notebook that we have okay and you have to run this notebook and I'll let it run for a while uh, so it might take some time to run the notebook okay uh, Yeah, while the notebook is running, I'll just go through the notebook. So there are some question marks. Okay, there are three question marks in the notebook, which we all have to fill. For example, here is the question. What is your name? You have to fill this. Okay, what is your age? You'll have to fill this. You'll have to fill everything. And then uh, you'll get. So let me it's it's open. I'll just run it. Yep. So this is the notebook. Okay. And you can uh, uh, run this notebook you can just you have to fill these question marks and when you fill these question marks yep you can just fill the question mark and run this cell and finally you can commit this notebook back to jovian okay when you commit this back to jovian it will go to your profile okay and you can search for the same uh, yeah this is the notebook that i just committed i can just take this link and submit this link in the submit button of the assignment page okay so that's what you have to do i'll repeat again so first when you open the assignment you will see a notebook you have to run the notebook the notebook will run in a jupyter notebook you have to fill the blanks in the notebook and then save the notebook and submit it in the assignment page okay so that's about the assignment now let's look at the announcements page of the course page in the course okay i'll just close all the tabs okay so this is the announcements page where you will look at all the announcements yeah so this is the announcement page where you will look at all the announcements and uh, this uh, this is the announcement that was sent out today about the introduction and overview sessions so just please follow this announcements uh, page because we might do make some important announcements here maybe about some office hours or uh, maybe about uh, maybe about the swags we can also announce here so yeah just keep a look at the announcements page from time to time then there is this discussion page in the course level so we saw a discussion page in the lesson level this is the discussion page in the course level okay and here you can ask all your questions about the course about if you have any questions directly related to the course you can ask those questions here and anyone from the community can reply to this question so you can see that one person has asked this question and someone from the community replied to this uh, question okay so that is the discussion page of the uh, of this course of the, the course page and finally we have the leaderboard where you can see the top 50 percent of the participants who has got maximum points okay so you'll gain points you'll achieve points when you complete a lesson when you complete an assignment you earn one point for completing lesson and assignment you earn point five point for completing the assignments after the deadline so after you have completed the deadline and if you have the deadline is already passed and if you have completed the assignment you'll get point five points uh the uh so if there is a tiebreaker uh then uh, two participants uh, their uh, last update is used to as a tiebreaker so time is used as a tiebreaker for the two participants and only top 50 percent are shown here okay only top 50 percent of the participant will be shown here and if you are in the not if you are not in the top 50 percent your point and position will be shown in the leaderboard okay so that's the leaderboard and you can look at the leaderboard to see how other participants are performing okay uh, yep so that was the course page i'll just repeat so this is the course home page that you will see when you just go to the zero to pandas.com and here you will find all the lectures and assignments if you scroll down on the course home page you will find some more details about the certificate of accomplishment about the instructor of the course 
there are some course FAQs which you might want to go through. Uh, and finally, there are the featured project that I was talking about. Okay, so these are all the featured projects and really interesting projects that we have seen uh, uh, during the last uh, run of the course. Okay, and uh, these featured projects are really good, and you can just go through them to get an advice on how uh, get an idea of how you can create your project, your EDA project. Okay. So that was totally all everything about the course page. Okay, now it's your turn. You can just go to 02pandas.com and uh, navigate the course page. And maybe if you have any questions now about the course page, you can ask that. Uh, so you should explore the course interface, browse lessons and assignments when it will open. Uh, only the lesson one is already open. The lesson two will open soon. So just browse through the lessons and assignment. If you have any question, just ask your question on the discussion page. Uh, execute uh, the lesson notebook online. Okay, you should just you can just execute the lesson notebook online and practice through the lesson notebook. You should always keep on practicing the lesson notebook and uh, whatever uh, is covered in the lesson, just type out the code. Okay, that is very important to uh, get the uh, concepts about the to get all the concepts in the course. Okay. Uh, check out the leaderboard. Uh, keep on checking the leaderboard. Maybe uh, you can see your name in the top or uh, if you are not at the top, try to get to the top of the leaderboard and uh, ask any questions uh, about the course, about the lesson on the discussion page and maybe someone from the community or the course team will reply to your question. So here are some FAQs. Uh, there, there are a few uh, FAQs I have covered in this uh, session. But if you want to know more about the FAQs, you can just go to the course homepage and see those. So how to create, save and upload notebooks. Okay, so how you can create, save and upload a notebook. So first is create a blank notebook. So let's see, we'll go to jovian.ai. Okay. And here we will create a, a blank notebook. So just name it anything. Okay. Uh, Viraj. Okay. So this is a notebook. We'll just create a blank notebook. Okay. And this is an entirely blank notebook. Okay. The next step is, uh, you can, okay. So there are two ways of creating notebooks. Either you can create blank notebooks from, uh, jovian.ai or you can create notebooks from the lesson page. So if you just open it and run a notebook here, if you just open a lesson and run the notebooks, a new notebook will be created and you can see all your notebooks in your profile. You go to jovin.ai and go to notebooks. You can see all your notebooks in the in your profile. Okay. Uh, so that is the way to create notebooks. Then, uh, okay. So now we can run the notebook. You can run either of the notebook. You can run this notebook or we can run our blank notebook from uh, directly from Jovian. We can run it on, let's run it on binder. And it will take some time to load. Okay. Again. Uh, so just wait if it's taking some time to load, you can just wait for a few times. Sometime it might open very fast and sometimes it might take some time. Okay. Uh, so while we are doing that, uh, so next is we have to save the notebook. Okay. So you might not need to commit the notebook. You don't have to commit the notebook anymore. You can just save the notebook that will reflect back to your profile. Okay. Uh, so uh, let this notebook run and I will show you. So this is the notebook that is running. This is the blank notebook that is running now. Okay. And while it run, okay. Uh, to upload a notebook, I have already shown how to upload the notebook to uh, the assignment page. Okay. So this is the notebook that we just created and we are printing hello world again. And let's print one more statement. This is, uh, the notebook, new notebook. Okay. So I have just created a new line or maybe we can also create a new markdown. Okay. Uh, and this markdown can be hello world again. This is Viraj. Okay. Uh, so now when I just, I just have to press the save button that is control plus S 
or command plus s uh, and you can just press the save button and this will automatically be reflected to your profile okay you don't have to commit your notebook anymore just press the save button and you can see that the new notebook is created okay so now you don't have to commit your notebook you can just press the save button that is control plus s okay that is how you run a notebook okay and to upload this notebook you can just take the link okay and go to the particular assignment page and just go to the submit bar and upload your notebook okay that's how you upload your notebook for the assignment okay so that was uh, uh, how to upload a notebook and run a notebook and how to study so first is you should watch the lecture thoroughly whatever the lecture is you just watch every content of the lecture and then you can keep the lecture notebook on one side of the screen and open a blank notebook on the other side of the screen so let me just show an example so suppose this is the lecture notebook okay this is the lecture notebook and i will open it in a new tab i'll just keep the lecture notebook in one side of the screen yep and here it is Yep, and a blank notebook. So this is the blank notebook that I just created. I'll just keep this on the other side of the screen. Okay. Yeah. So that was the let me just open the lecture notebook. Yep. So this is the lecture notebook and this is the blank notebook. So when uh so you just uh once you have watched the video, just scroll down the lecture notebook and keep the blank notebook on the right side. Whenever you find a code, just keep on experimenting with the code. Okay, so just first type out the code, whatever is there, you can just look and type it out. Okay, and once you have done this, okay, you can now experiment with this code. So what happened if I add 14 here? This is very easy thing. Okay, but once uh, the code becomes difficult, for example, this one, you can just uh, type it out. You can see what is happening. Okay, and that's that's the way you can practice uh, you can practice and practice the lesson notebook and get more ideas from the get, get more concept from the keep on uh, practicing the lecture notebook open a blank notebook on one side keep the lecture notebook on the other side and type out the code whatever code is there you can just look and type out and then uh, try some new things try out uh, new codes out of it okay uh, that's the way to uh, uh that is the way to study okay and uh, if necessary you can also rewatch the lecture if you are not able to understand uh something okay and how to stay focused uh you should you should always ask questions on the discussion page okay you can ask any question on the discussion page and anyone from the community or from the course team will definitely reply and that is how you can stay focused whenever you are uh not feeling motivated for the course enough just ask whatever question whatever doubt you are having you can uh, see announcements regularly just keep on seeing the announcements regularly whatever announcements are posted stay on the schedule that is follow given okay so that you can learn with the community and get be motivated with the community uh, join the jovian slack channel okay so that uh, you can see what other conversations are going on and maybe some announcements about the swag packs okay just keep join the event community and this will keep you motivated and focused and also reach out to us okay if anything is required you can just reach out to us at support at the okay and what are your contributions for the course the first contribution is time you should uh, you have to contribute your time for the course whatever time is required to watch the lecture to practice the notebook or to complete the assignment second is effort you have to give some effort from your side and third is commitment you have to be committed okay if you are feeling demotivated just uh, go through the discussion page go ask uh, see the slack community and you might feel motivated again to complete the course and to finally get the certificate of accomplishment okay and here are a few tips to succeed uh, so ask questions if something isn't clear to you and you don't ask question you won't understand okay so keep please ask question uh, and also answer uh, questions uh, others questions okay this will keep you motivated this will uh, keep uh, like this this will not stop you from learning okay and you can ask any simple question it can be any question okay and no question is simple okay uh, so you can ask anything 
uh, just ask question and keep on asking question okay and at time you at a time you will see that the question that uh, level of question that you are asking has improved okay so don't be shy of asking questions just keep on asking questions okay write code you should always keep on typing out code as i shown saw in the lecture okay just type out everything that you see all the code that is there on the lecture type out everything practice more code okay and uh, if you find some other online platforms just practice those codes okay and help others okay you should you should help others this will keep you motivated and also this will keep you uh, this will help you clear your ideas of whatever you have learned okay when you help others you understand uh, what you you get the idea like what you have learned in the course, uh, in the course you have a clear concept of what you have done and be kind to others and also to yourself okay so i'll look at questions now uh, let's see if we have any question okay um okay uh yep i think there are uh, no okay i can see one question how many times in a year does jovian run the courses uh well it's uh the frequency is uh not fixed but let's say it's uh once in couple of months okay so yeah we there is another course going on with the zero to pandas course but this is a very entry level course i would suggest you to go through this course first because that course has some prerequisites yep uh okay i don't think there are any other question if you have any question please post them on chat or maybe you can post your question on discussion page and we will uh get back to you we'll reply or maybe someone from the community will reply or the course team will reply okay uh so that was the introduction and overview session uh the, of data analysis with python 02 pandas thank you and thanks everyone for joining and goodbye